everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm Premium Box for the month of February 2022. I just picked this up. This has been such a hassle lately with packages. I, I don't even want to talk about it, but I had to go to the post office to get this, luckily before it was sent back. So it is super early this morning. I have not opened the box. I picked the seal, but I have no idea what's going to be inside. So let's see. Lots of packing in here. Oh, wow. All right, so it looks like a lot of these products, like price points, are a little bit inexpensive this month. Kind of similar to the base box. Let's go ahead and dive right in. For my choice item, I chose uh, for the first one, the Mercury Retrograde Palette from Huda. I love this palette. It is so pretty. It's literally been discounted for ever at a bunch of different retailers right now you can get it for like 30 bucks i bought it on sale honestly guys i had both this palette and the fenty highlighter so at this point i was like i'm gonna get a duplicate for sure i love this palette though this is one of those items where i love color i love huda's like large palettes so i was like i am kind of okay with getting a second not the worst thing i'm glad that they put this in the box but i do feel like a lot of the products that they feature in the boxes have been recently discounted at larger retailers so i feel like we are getting a lot of stuff that's like going on clearance and they're trying to like get rid of which is not always like the worst thing if it's a good product but then again like you can also purchase it like way cheaper so it's almost like the value isn't a hundred percent there like obviously it is that's what it's worth but at the same time because it's cheaper everywhere else it seems like the value is less the next product i've got in here is the vike beauty Beauty Melt Makeup, a makeup remover spray with skincare benefits. Interesting. I love sprays with skincare benefits, so I like this a lot. I've never had a makeup spray before, so I'm very interested to try this. And I am filming this super early, guys, so I don't have any makeup on right now. I'm not going to be testing a lot of these products today, to be completely honest, just because it's just one of those days. I'll probably do a try-on video maybe in the next week with all these products and then give you guys like a full overview, full glam especially with the Huda palette. I'm just not feeling it right now. So we're just going to be doing the unboxing. Makeup Melt has four key antioxidants to nourish your skin after removal, leaving your skin bright, clean, and renewed. No wipes or pads needed. Simply spray and Makeup Melt will remove your makeup, give you a spa-like experience at home. It's a new brand of BoxyCharm. It retails for $24. This would actually be very nice to use in the shower because I've lately been using a lot of cleansing oils, cleansing balms, all of that jazz sometimes it can be like a little bit messy in the shower so if i just have to pick up a bottle spray my face in the shower and rub it off that would be amazing so i will keep you guys updated on this i'll try to do a tutorial soon and also test this out to show you guys how it works the next product we've got in here i was actually kind of excited to get this this is the christoph robin instant volumizing leave-in mist with rose water uplifted roots and fuller lengths because we don't get a lot of hair products so it's something like like different and new for me. Not as excited about like what the actual product is, but it's just like a nice little change, I guess, just for something different. I could see this more in the Lux box, but for like one month to get a hair product, I'm fine with that. Although I've seen a few people use this and they didn't like it as much. This mist makes thin, fine, and flat hair feel thicker and full of body while delivering an easy to style hold. Using delicate rose blend infused formula with baobab leaf extract and olingo elements from seawater this mist helps enhance hair's texture and provide a lift at the roots for a long lasting volumized look and it retails for $39 and the Christoph Robin products I guess are new to BoxyCharm I didn't know they were new to BoxyCharm I've seen it in drop shop and all of the sales so interesting the next one we have is the bad um, I don't think I'm allowed to say this on YouTube. It is a lip liner by Uoma Beauty. Shape and fill your lips and add definition and structure with these highly pigmented, silky smooth lip liners designed to be worn with your favorite lipstick shade. It's a new brand of BoxyCharm as well, and it retails for $16. 
I love that color though. The color is really pretty. I like that it's a nude. They're just good for everyday wear. It's not like a bright red that like is pretty and you can wear for like special occasions, but this is kind of like an everyday color. The next product we've got is Primed for the Night. This is by Moonlit Makeup. It is a new launch and it's an eyeshadow primer with a sheer natural tint and a silky lightweight formula that prevents creasing so it doesn't interfere with your favorite colors. Get primed for the night and enjoy a vibrant, lasting color wherever your adventures lead, and it retails for $18. I think this packaging is really cute. Definitely like it. Ooh, wow. That was a nice surprise. This company really thought about their packaging. I like that. I'm for it. Not too much product comes out, though. But I mean, I guess that's not a bad thing. You only need a little bit. So I just put it right here. It feels nice and silky on the skin. Dries pretty quickly. The next product I've got is Eyelash Boost Serum by Dime. This was also another choice item. It retails for $44. It's a new brand to BoxyCharm. Grow your own naturally full and beautiful long lashes with this help of the best-selling Eyelash Boost Serum. Improve length, density, and strength of hair and overall follicle health with a proprietary blend of amino acids and peptides. Today's video shout out word is dime. If you comment dime down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. I'm gonna say guys off the bat, just getting this in the box like this, it makes me not wanna use it because I feel like super expensive brands, they don't put like a lot of plastic on their packaging like this. I feel like a lot of like really cheap brands do this. So I'm a little bit disappointed to see this on here. And like the plastic is like that hard plastic that does not come off nicely. If it was in the box like this, I would be happier to see that. I don't know, I just feel like the extra plastic is like not needed and it's bad for the environment and it just makes it look cheap. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna open it just yet because I do have a few of the Grande Lash Serums open now that I've gotta finish up first. I mean, it has pretty good ingredients on the ingredient list. It doesn't show how long this product lasts after you open it. Normally there's a little jar with an open sign on it. I thought that was like required to be on products like this little guy. So if you guys see these on the back bottom of your package, this one has a jar with six months with a jar open. So that means once you open this and expose it to air, it will last for six months being good and fresh. And then after that, you have to be a little bit weary. This one is 12 months. Okay guys, so this is my premium box for this month. I'm gonna be completely honest guys. I'm not like super disappointed about this box. Like I feel like it could be better but I do like the variety. I feel like because there's so much variety, I could do like pretty much almost an entire look with this. We got the eyeshadow primer, the eyeshadow. We've got a lash boosting serum so you don't have to wear mascara. We got a lip liner, which you could just add a little gloss on top or wear alone, add a little lipstick on top. We've got a hair product to add some lift to your hair. And we got the makeup remover for the end of the day. So I do feel like this is a very cohesive box overall. But according to my preferences, I have at the very end of my preferences, like makeup removers, same with hair products and lip liners. I'm not too mad though. I'm actually okay with this box. And I do feel like the eyeshadow palette definitely made the box. But like I said before, you can get it like super highly discounted right now. So I don't know. Brings the value down slightly. The total retail value of this box is $208. Same as BoxyCharm Base this month. The value has gone down a lot. I'm hoping that it's not going to be for future boxes. I hope it's just like this month that they were going through something. I am happy to see in this box compared to the base box. This box We've got a lot of pink items. The eyeshadow has pink in it. The hair product has pink accents. The makeup remover has pink accents. The lip liner is like a nude color. So I feel like they hit the mark with the Valentine's Day theme on this. I'm actually liking better than I was expecting. Let me know what you guys thought of my box down below. And today's video shout out goes out to Sherilyn Valencourt. 
Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys, bye.